Ladies and gentlemen and photographers and video designers, we're going to do our video slideshow using the five photos that we've taken. So let's take a look at the grade scale uh, to get us started here and see what this thing looks like. So this is what we're going to be doing. So it has right here at the top the order that we're supposed to do the project in. And if we do it in the correct order, it will make it easier and faster. If we get out of that order, we might lose some of our work. So we'll talk more about that later. The essence of the assignment is that you're going to use 10 images and you're going to put them into a video slideshow. Five of them are going to be images that you've taken yourself. Um, you're, going to, you're going to make an open shot video. You're going to add some transitions and some effects. And then when you're done, you're going to save it as an MP4 file. And then you're going to put it on YouTube and share that with me. And you're going to put it on your web portfolio and share that with me. Okay, so in your notes, make sure that you write down an intelligent question. So look at that grade scale yourself. Go over it carefully and ask any intelligent questions on in your notes. All right, so here's the order that you're supposed to do everything in, and I'm going to walk you through this order. And the idea is if you don't do it in this order, it's going to cause problems. So, so the first, first step is to choose a topic and then gather images and organize and so on and so forth. And so here's, the, here's what will happen. So let's say you do this. So one of the things you're going to have to do is so you're going to go into your pro folder with your name on it. We're going to go into um, composition photography and then we're going to go here's our video slideshow and if you look here I have audio, uh, video assets and here's my picture assets and so if you look I've named them all with a three, three digit number at the beginning because I wanted to organize them in the way that I want them to appear in the video slideshow. Now if I take a, so if I've done I've done these names and then if you look over here let's say I come to my here's my video project and I, the names 001 red 002 uh, dangling thing so when I drag all these things in they're gonna appear in the right order right but what happens if I go into my assets folder and I change the name of this picture well um, OpenShot won't be able to find it anymore and so it's gonna come up with an error message so make sure that you do all of your changing of your photos you edit all the photos and you change all the names first and then you add them into the slideshow next so that it doesn't cause any problems okay alright so we're gonna do it in this order to save ourselves time and problems because I've done it the wrong way in the past myself and it caused me a lot of pain okay step one choose a theme that's appropriate so make sure that the, the topic's appropriate for school. Make sure you can take five pictures on your own and make sure you can download five good pictures from the internet that all go along with your theme. All right, so the next step is going to be to make sure that you make the folders that you need. So we're gonna make an audio assets folder, you're gonna make a video assets folder, and you're gonna make a video slideshow picture assets. And then this right here, right inside of the video slideshow folder that's where your open shot project goes so the project goes here the pictures go there okay so make these folders and remember like we already said don't move or change the names of your pictures after you've started the project and we've already talked about this okay so we have our folders make sure you make those folders like this so you have your video slideshow and all your assets folders. Okay, so the next step is going to be to pic take the picture. So the, the thought is that you've already taken the pictures, you've taken your five photos, and now we're going to rename them. And so one of the things that I find helpful is to put the three digit numbers in front of there. So you put, so 001 is going to be the picture you want to have first. 002 is going to be the picture you want to have second. And so for this small slideshow, it's a little bit overkill, but when you're doing a, a really long slideshow, um, doing the, the numbering first really helps you because instead of trying to move pictures around into the right order in the video application, you're going to do it here where it seems to be easier. Okay, so you're going to name everything with good names, with good naming conventions, and you're going to put a three-digit number at the beginning. All right. That's it for part one. Um, go ahead and make sure you've gotten all that done and then go on to part two.